Okay, so let's go down to favorites. Um, you can see the favorite um, that we added is here now. And of course you can click on it to go uh, straight back to the contract details. Um, auto search, we'll discuss these in more um, of the advanced features section, but for now, let's go down to bid packets. <clears throat> So before we get into our actual bid packet management, we're going to start with our base documents management. So let's go ahead and add core data. So basically company name, contact info, uh, primary and secondary, put in all of your um, same information, UEI, cage code, things of that nature. Uh, under company background and company values, you don't need to put that much if you don't want to. However, the more information that you are able to provide, um, the more comprehensive and uh, well-rounded uh, all of your documents are gonna be. So I'd, I'd try and give as much information as possible. So once you fill in your core data, you will notice that your root cover letter button is going to turn from this lighter blue to a darker blue, which means that we can now click on it and fill out our root cover letter, which will cost one credit, which we will discuss credits at a later point. Um, but during your uh, during your, your seven day free trial, you will have enough credits to create the root cover letter and the capability statement and then do a bid packet management. And again, we'll discuss purchasing more credits at a later point in the video. Okay, so now that we've generated our root cover letter, um, you can view and edit it right here. Now your root cover letter is going to pull all of its information from the core data that you put in there. <coughs> um, so there is an edit mode and then uh, this is a pasteable document um, that you can copy and paste and put it into a, um, a docx or something of that nature. Uh, if you'd like to regenerate your root cover letter, um, it will cost one credit. Uh, again, we'll discuss credits uh, later in the video, but um, you can regenerate it and that's only if you update your core data. So now that this is done, this button for our capability statement has popped up. So we're gonna hit this and this one um, will have some fillable fields that you'll need to put in. Again, I'd recommend um, trying to put more than less, um, uh, you know, the more specific information that you can put in here, the better your capability statement is going to be. A quick note uh, about halfway down these fillable fields, um, sustainability practices um, is a toggle switch, yes or no, or you can just keep it not applicable. Um, that's basically if you're a uh, company that leans towards um, sustainability, green practices, uh, things of that nature. Um, same with uh, diversity and inclusion initiatives, uh, for of action, equal opportunity, things like that. Uh, special equipment and technology is basically just if you have some really cool um, or, or um, industry specific uh, equipment or technology that you have, you can list that here. And then custom section is anything that maybe um, wasn't listed in some of the, you know, the basic um, boxes up here. So, so now our capability statement has been generated uh, similar to the root cover letter. Uh, you can view and edit right here, which will pop up a new tab. And again, similar, there's an edit mode and a um, pasteable document. Um, and regenerating that would cost one credit. Uh, so unless you want to update this, um, you know, we can just leave that for now. So now we're going to go down to our bid packet that we had picked. So the first box here 
and we'll talk about these buttons in a moment. The first box here is the project specific cover letter, which this is your root cover letter. So um, every contract or solicitation you're looking to bid on, you're going to have a specific cover letter for that specific contract. So we're going to hit generate document. Um, <clears throat> The AI will do its best to autofill as many fields as possible. Strategic partnerships are maybe subcontractors you have or people you're uh, doing a joint venture with. Um, obviously, services and products offered are what you're going to provide for the contract. Uh, proposal validity period. Some um, contracting officers would like your um, quote to be valid for 30, 60, 90 days, something of that nature. Um, I think 60 days is pretty uh, standard, but um, you know this, this could be um, project specific. So now that we have our project specific cover letter, uh, similar to above, you can click view and edit. Um, edit mode um, allows you to save the changes again and a uh, pasteable document you can copy and paste down into a separate program. So uh, we're generating cost one credit as the, the original um, generation costs one, but any regeneration also costs a credit. Um, technical proposals, um, we're going to generate one of those as well. So when this pops up, there's going to be a few options. So first off, this toggle switch right here is going to go from simple to advanced. So if you want just a very um, a, a shorter cover letter that kind of covers the, the, the basics, then go with simple. That's going to cost two credits. If you want a more um, in-depth cover letter that's a little more comprehensive and has some more um, details and um, um, just, just more in it uh, as far as content and page count goes, then uh, click the advanced. Uh, that's going to cost 10 credits um, because it's a lot more computing power and time for it to um, create that. So for now, we're going to go with simple. And we have a couple options as far as the AI needs um, files to look at and, and digest so that it knows what to create for your document. So you can hit browse and go ahead and um, pick your own files. The easiest thing to do though is fetch from SAM. So uh, the program will go in, it'll find all the related documents um, on SAM, on, on the solicitation uh, link, the, the website, and it will list all of these uh, right here. Um, for the most part, you can use um, most documents. There's a couple it, it does not like currently. Um, picture files and Excel files um, can be a little difficult for it. So um, we're going to stick, luckily these are all PDFs, so we're going to stick with PDFs and uh, document files. So once you're ready to go, we're going to hit Submit. And this will say technical proposal queued successfully. So the technical proposals take a little bit of time to generate. The simples tend to take one to three minutes. Um, the advanced ones can take 10, 15, up to 20 minutes, because again, they're a lot longer, a lot more for it to digest and process. Um, this uh, circle right here will keep spinning uh, while it's generating. So you can go ahead and leave if you'd like, and then come back and um, it will keep the same state until it's done. So. so now that our technical's done, similar to the last few, we're uh, gonna go ahead, you can view and edit a separate tab. Um, edit mode allows you to change um, whatever you need to change. Um, within this format right here, you can go save changes, or again, you paste well document, which will go um, into a separate program if you'd like it to. Last button here is email to POC. Um, 
So this will create an email to the point of contact for this solicitation. Um, it's this Franklin uh, Godinez or Godinez. Um, and you can go ahead and hit that and it'll generate an email that will go, that can go straight to the, the point of contact for the solicitation. Okay, so now that we have all of our base documents and bid specific documents, we're gonna go look at a couple other things here. So these buttons up at top, I'm gonna to go a little out of order. So first off, we're gonna talk about past performance. So if we go over to the navigation bar to this tab, you can add past performances of jobs that you've done. Um, you know, quick breakdown of the job, the cost and the issues faced, if it was completed on time and adequately, uh, feedback from uh, whoever was the supervisor on the job, and so on and so forth. Okay, so once we have a past performance uh, put in here, um, you can go back to bid packets and link one of those and then just click on whatever one you would like uh, to associate with this bid packet. Um, once that's done, or even if you don't want to do that, you can hit this download button. It will download a zip file of all of the documents for this specific bid packet. And then you can open that and um, look at everything that is in there. Uh, last thing here, though, this is a drop down menu. So this is basically for um, bid packet management. So current obviously is a solicitation that's still in process. You can pick one lost or deleted. Um, obviously, if you hit deleted, it will just delete the whole thing in its entirety. Um, but if you have a bunch on here that you'd like to perhaps, you know, put in a, in a different spot, you can hit one or lost. It'll change here. Um, and then it will go into your uh, archived area. So here we can toggle things that are archived and things that are not. So now that it's considered done, uh, it'll be archived, but we're going to change this back to current. and it'll stay current. <clears throat>